Selma Blair's ex claims she asterisk is the abuser and has been harassing his 12 year old daughter. We don't know how to feel about this response. As we told you earlier this week, Selma Blair's ex boyfriend was arrested on felony charges of domestic violence with corporal injury after she accused him of strangling her. The legally blonde star claimed Ronald Carlson called her, useless, and a, cripple, before jumping on her, strangling her, and smothering her until she passed out. His account could not be more different. Related. Shanna Mochler's ex. Allegedly attacked trans woman before domestic violence arrest we already knew he was filing for a restraining order of his own, saying she attacked him and he was just defending himself, but he's accusing her of a lot more than that. In legal docs obtained by Radar Online, Ron says, Selma actually abused him on multiple occasions, not just the day in question, February 22. He claims she committed domestic violence against him on October 1 and actually after the first date. On February 26 of this year. First, regarding the story we heard, Carlson attests, I was in complete shock to be arrested. Selma's description of the events that occurred on February 22 are false. He believes she called the police not to tell her side but with the express intent of falsely accusing him. He says the actress has engaged in a campaign to harass and destroy me by contacting my family and business associates. He claims she has even reached out to his ex-wife to try to get her to corroborate abuse claims, but she wouldn't. Per the docs, Ron believes Selma's mental state has been compromised due to mixing cannabis with her multiple sclerosis medications, leaving her unstable and even dangerous. In particular, in his request for a protective order, he claims his ex is harassing his 12-year-old daughter Chloe. Carlson says his ex sent the tween a text message reading, I love you. Remember that. Delete this please. Things. Are not what you are told. I am sorry. I love you. I stayed for you. The father says of the. Message. I am shocked and appalled that Selma is attempting to manipulate my daughter and that. She encouraged her to. Delete. Her message. Chloe was very upset and anxious to receive a. Text message from Selma. I have primary custody of Chloe and I need to protect her against any. Further harassment from Selma. I am filing this request for restraining orders to prevent Selma from further harassing, abusing, and disturbing me and Chloe. That wasn't the first reference to his daughter. In his version of the February 22 events, Carlson says the fight began when he refused to sit next to her since they had both been sick. Furious with the implication, he says. Selma demanded he give her back the keys to her place, as we all know, a physical symbol of a collapsing relationship being completely over. When he took his back as well, he says, she sat directly next to me and put her face within inches of my face. She stated with anger and in a hostile manner, your daughter is a f asterisk king loser. Whoa, what? As hard as it was for us to Believe someone had called Selma Blair a cripple. This is so much tougher to swallow. This is a mother we're talking about. Why would she say that? Again, Ron is blaming the medications. Saying, Selma regularly has outbursts where she will become very angry and either yell and scream or physically attack me. Selma is on various medications, including treatments for her multiple sclerosis. I have witnessed her take medication and witnessed her mood changes because of the medication she takes. I have also witnessed her consume cannabis beverages and smoke marijuana. Selma has experienced significant mood swings depending on the medications she is taking or when she consumes cannabis or marijuana. Describing the mood swings, he says, she appears to be happy and in a good mood. Within minutes, she can become depressed or enraged. When enraged, she yells at me and calls me names. 
I have endured years of these mood swings and I am on guard when I am around Selma, as I do not know when she will be in a good or bad mood. While this does not sound like Selma, we do know she's been going through an extraordinarily difficult period. She's been very open about it, including in her Discovery documentary, Introducing Selma Blair. Could medication really be affecting her this much?